welcome to the channel, I'm Tasha Beck, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the 52 new movies I watched in 2022. One of my goals in 2022 was to watch 52 new movies. These didn't have to necessarily be new releases, these just had to be movies that I had never seen before. So they could be super old, brand new that day, as long as I had never seen them before, it counted. The time of this recording I have watched exactly 52 movies this year and I wrote a list of them all so we can go through them. Are you ready? Here's the list of all the movies. I'm going to try and do this in one take. Kung Fu Panda 3, Free Guy, Django Unchained, Murder on the Orient Express, Mitchells vs Machines, Kingsman, Sonic the Hedgehog, Turning Red, Tomorrowland, Death on the Nile, Fantastic Beasts, Secrets of Dumbledore, The Shape of Water, In the Heights, Trolls World Tour, Taxi, Swim, Black Widow, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, Underwater, Cats, 2018 version, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, Zombieland, Double Tap, Spontaneous, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Next Three Days, Jurassic World Dominion, From Dusk Till Dawn, The Men Who Stare at Goats, Lightyear, Sea Beast, Pirates Band of Misfits, Prey, Anastasia, Secret Life of Pets 2, Hocus Pocus 2, My Little Pony Next Gen, Sing 2, X-Men Days of Future Past, X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men Dark Phoenix, The New Mutants, Logan, Deadpool 2, Talk To Me, Do Revenge, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, The Purge, Happy Death Day, Pocahontas, the, tw the live action version, and finally, Spirited. 52 movies that I watched this year. <laughs> out of those 52 new movies, only six of them were cinematic releases, and out of those six, one of those was the movie that I helped work on. A few of them were streaming service releases, and a lot of them were simply movies that had been out for years beforehand I had just never seen. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 I watched because it made my friends really mad that I had never seen them, but I have seen and love Spider-Man No Way Home. Some of the ones on this list were mystery DVDs, so my friend Ishka had wrapped a whole bunch of DVDs with vague descriptions, and the rule was if we unwrapped it, we had to watch it. So some of the ones included From Dust Till Dawn, The Men Who Stare at Goats, and The Next Three Days. Definitely movies I wouldn't have picked for myself, but very glad that I got to watch them because they were really interesting. Now moving on to the part that we actually all care about, my best and worst movies of the year. My top three movies of the year were Murder on the Orient Express, In the Heights, and Spirited. Murder on the Orient Express I love because I love a good murder mystery movie and it was really fun watching it with Dakota because we kept pausing and we kept being like, okay, I think it's this person, I think it's this, oh no, the evidence says it's this person and we had a really great time breaking it down, like trying to figure out who it was before it was revealed. In the Heights, I loved Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote it and it's very obviously him and I love his work and I just love the music, I thought it was really great, highly recommend. Spirited is the latest movie I watched from this list. It's on Apple TV. Watched it three days ago, and when I tell you that I watched it every single day since, I'm not exaggerating. I love this movie. The music is incredible. It's such a great modern take and twist on A Christmas Carol, and I wish that it was on a bigger platform. Apple TV kind of gets swept under the rug. I wish it was on something like Netflix or Disney Plus, because it would. I think it would just go so well. So please, if you've got Apple TV, Go watch Spirited, it's a fantastic Christmas movie. It's amazing. The worst movies that I watched this year were Cats, the 2018 version, The Purge, and Pinocchio live action. All were just horrible. I didn't really like Cats the movie. I'd seen the stage show before and I did enjoy it. The movie, however, the CGI, like everyone says, not the best. Weird cockroachy and rat things just looked off. And the scale of the cat kept changing, like at one point this cat could put a ring around her neck, but then the next minute they are like the right size, it's just, it's it was all weird and off and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like The Purge because I thought the characters made really dumb decisions and it's so frustrating to watch characters make dumb decisions. I had this whole plan to watch all of The Purge movies, but I was so infuriated with the characters in the first one that I just, I couldn't get past it. I, just, I couldn't. I understand that it's a low budget film and that it was like a phenomenon and everyone really likes it and like the concept is very cool. I just can't get past the decision making of the characters. I genuinely think that the live action Pinocchio was the worst movie I watched in all of 2022. I did a TikTok review on it which I'll link down below just to highlight how frustrated I was with this movie. To me the CGI felt unfinished, like it was still being rendered, it's still in development and it just didn't look good and it didn't look like what we're used to in terms of quality of Disney CGI. I felt like some of the songs or some of the scenes were added simply to pad out the runtime so that it was actually like a full length feature film, which was frustrating because 
it got boring at times because of the pad out. One of my biggest issues with this movie comes towards the end when Geppetto and Pinocchio are getting out of Montrose's mouth and they leave via the mouth and the boat gets pushed away and then Monstro starts chasing them, catching up, and Pinocchio all of a sudden has like dash-like powers from the Incredibles and starts kicking his feet so fast that the like little paddle boat becomes a speed boat and they can get away from Monstro. And that did not make sense to me. I understand that it was set up before where he was making fire, but that's two bits of wood rubbing together. It had no indication that he could kick super fast to make a boat move and it just felt out of place it was just dumb. The live action Pinocchio was the only movie that I genuinely considered scrapping and turning off and being like, it's not gonna be a movie for me this year. Like it was that bad. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoyed the experience of watching 52 new movies last year. Even though some were super frustrating to get through, it was still really fun to expand my film knowledge. I'm doing the same thing this year and I'm so excited to expand my film knowledge even more. I'm gonna put these two questions for you. Number one, what was your best and worst movie of last year? And two, what's a movie you recommend for me to watch to add to my film knowledge for this year? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Hope you all have a magical day, and I will see you next time. Bye!